Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the domain of this function. So if it was just the log of x, then we know that x has to be positive. You can only take the log of a positive number, so the domain of log is positive numbers. But here's not log, here it's log of some other stuff. So this whole thing here, which I've circled, is our x. So this whole thing has to be positive. We can still get negative numbers as answers, it's just this piece that I've circled has to be positive. So we take x plus 3 over x minus 4, and we set it greater than 0. So step 1, when you're looking for the domain of a log function, is to always just take whatever is here and set it greater than 0. To solve this inequality, we can do it two ways. We can do it graphically, or we can do it using what's called the test point method. Let's use the test point method. So test point method. So the test point method says that the first step is to get a single term on one side and zero on the other. That step is already done for us in this problem. The second step in the test point method is to set each piece equal to zero. So we set the numerator equal to zero, and we set the denominator equal to zero. Okay. Again, this is just the second step. This doesn't follow algebraically from what's written here. It's not an algebraic step. It's just following the steps in the method. So step one, make sure you have one term and zero, done. Step two, set each piece equal to zero. Then you solve. So here we get negative 3, and then here we get 4. The next step in the test point method is to actually plot these numbers and pick test points. So I'll do that over here. So here's negative 3, and here's 4. And there's a big shortcut we can take, but first let me explain what we actually have to do. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pick a number over here and plug it in here. If it's true, you shade here. If it's not true, you don't shade. Then you pick a number here between negative 3 and 4, and you plug it in. If it's true, you shade here. If it's not true, you don't. Then you do it again. You pick a number over here bigger than 4, plug it into this. If it's true, you shade. Not true, you don't shade. That's a lot of work, so I'm going to show you a trick. The easiest number in the world that we can pick um, besides these is 0. So let's check 0. So you take the zero and you plug it in here. So zero plus three over zero minus four. And we want to see if this is greater than zero. So we get three over negative four. And is that greater than zero? No, it is not, right? This is not bigger than zero. So we don't shade here. So what about these? Well. The fact is, the pattern is always shade, no shade, shade, no shade. So because we don't shade here, we shade in the other one. This trick will always work as long as nothing is being squared. So like if you had x plus 3 squared over x minus 7, don't rely on this trick, okay? Nothing can be squared for this to work. So recap, we pick 0 from here. Because it wasn't true, we didn't shade, and our pattern is shade, no shade, shade. What if it had been true, just for fun, because people always wonder, what if it had been this? Then it would be yes, and then the answer, what would the answer look like? Well, if it had been yes, then the answer would look like this, because right? we would shade, and then we would not shade here. But that was not the case. So the answer from the picture, we're going to use parentheses, because it's a strict inequality. You'll find you're always using parentheses in these because the log is always going to give you a greater than symbol, would be negative infinity to negative 3, union, and then you want to do 4 to infinity. And that would be the domain of this logarithmic function. I hope this video has been helpful.